keep it cool. When you are father and when you are a man, and the teachers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches protect the black woman. Period. What is your purpose, Elijah Muhammad? To sleep with these young girls, young women. What is the purpose? And you deny them an opportunity to be a young lady. As soon as the a, a, a young girl come out the womb, these bastards want to jump between the girl's legs. What the hell wrong with y'all? What is wrong with these crazy ass men? The prophet Muhammad getting married to a, a baby six years old. What is the purpose of that, y'all? That's some, that's some sick crap. And even boys, you have plenty of time in your life to screw. Plenty of time. Give these children an opportunity to live their life, to have fun, no responsibilities. Live a little bit. Because once you become an adult, once you become, once you start spitting out babies, you're an adult forever. And you spitting out babies, you're responsible for those children. What kind of father are we to deny our children to be children? We encouraging young boys. Damn, that gal over there show sure look good, bro. You need to get some of that. We encouraging young boys to be whores. And if the young boy is a whore, he got to be messing with somebody. So you don't give a damn about somebody else's daughter being messed up. So in a hurry to jump in the sack. You ain't missing nothing. The sex crap is overrated. It ain't about nothing. Dogs do it. Ants do it. Frogs do it. So do lions do it. Who gives them? It ain't nothing. It don't take education to do it. If you had to get a college degree to screw, many of y'all would have no babies. Dumbass. But it's easy to do. Don't take nothing. And you can't handle your emotion. You think you, you're looking for the pleasure, but it's more than pleasure connected to it. Emotions and feelings get involved. Who knows how many people commit suicide every year because somebody played a game with them. I just want your vagina. I just want your penis. And you thought they was in love with you. They just wanted your body. I've heard a story where people have committed suicide. And then we shoot and kill each other and stalk and harass because you sleeping with somebody and you thought they liked you. And you stalking and harassing them. They don't want you. They just want your body and your money. Let these children be children. In religion, I can say I was blessed. I really truly enjoyed my childhood. I'm blessed. I was not in a hurry to be grown. I was smart enough to look at the adults and I knew I don't want 
want nothing to do with that. Uh, I get that. Whatever. I want to enjoy my childhood. But in religion, they can't wait till a baby, a girl, baby girl, and probably boys too, because you know they molest their children in the houses of religion. So you're not safe whether you're a boy or a girl, these pedophiles in religion. And you got these suckers like this young man going to defend people behavior like that because he's sick influenced by religious demonic as you would say these bastards 20 some years old you're an old man you don't live your life you messing up a young girl now she's spitting out babies 15, 16, or 21, or whatever, you, she should be trying to enjoy her life. The only thing she's doing is laying, spreading her legs for your old ass. So where's father to protect? The, it's so sickening. Religion and even spirituality can destroy and break down the fiber in you as a man to protect your own child. Because that's because he's a man of God. Wow. So the young man said he wouldn't do it, but if you would give your daughter to the man of God, you would give your wife. Also, because he's a man of God, if the man of God told you, damn boy, you sure looking fat back there. Why don't you, why don't you bend over a little bit? I want to give you some of the man of God. <laughs> you would bend over because that's the man of God if you would give your child if you would give your wife you got you, you, you would give that man your booty and don't think it don't happen because these men of God is freaky oh yeah they some freaks Parental discretion is advised right here, y'all. Just want to use an example. I'm, I'm not going to be nasty. There's another cult leader. What's his name? Uh, Nature Boy, they call him. I don't hear too much about Nature Boy nowadays. I, I, and I'm not looking for him either. So, But Nature Boy was telling his followers if you want part of the divine, if you suck his penis, you can get drink some of the divine. Well, of course, he's the man of God, and you want some of that divineness because you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing but a slave. You are nobody. So why not take a drink of the man? divine the, the the man of god and this young man proud to say that he's proud to say well he's the he's the man of god he want my daughter no father instinct to protect your child and in these religious cults The leaders take your daughter, they take your son, they take your wife, they will take you. These cult leaders are freak ass, sick ass people. There's 
there's a cable channel and there's a series where where ex cult members talk about what the leaders made them do it's, it's sickening the man of god if i ever come at any of y'all that kind of way put a bullet in my brain because i'm sick i need to be dead let these children be children what's the rush to have sex and spit out babies what's the damn rush why are you in a hurry that's just more responsibility more miles to feed what's the rush they do that because that's how they keep you under control That's how, that's how they know that they have your loyalty. And you are nobody. You want to get close to God. Willing to do anything. You read the same book that they do. Why don't you do that sometime? You sitting back. Brother, that's deep. How come it is not deep when you read it? Y'all reading the same crap. It's the same stuff. How is when he said, wow, brother Farrakhan, that's deep. You read the same damn thing, word for word. But no matter how many times you read it, it's, it's never deep. But when Farrakhan or the man of God said, it, <laughs> brother, that's deep. Snub up, you need to stop being a hater. Brother, that's, that's deep. And we don't believe we sick. You're sick. That young man's sick. Stumbling all over his words because he, because his brain is telling them that what we're talking about, what I'm bringing to you is, is right. He's trying in his mind to try to justify wrong. So he's there stumbling all over himself, hiding away from the camera. If you didn't want the camera to see you, what the hell are you turning on for? It, it goes to show you how crazy we are. You don't have to turn, hide behind the camera. Don't turn it on, sir. Father's Day. Where are the fathers? Because a father is supposed to protect your family. And the fathers of a nation are supposed to protect that nation. Protect your resources. And the number one resource is your women, is your children. That's the number one resource. I don't care how much gold you have, how much water, platinum, all these other material things. That don't mean nothing if you don't protect the number one resource, which is people, which is your women and your children and even other men it don't mean nothing my black people it's all about the unity it's nothing they can do with us so we